Yo, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a very simple and effective slime staff farm or a gel farm, whichever one you use it for. It really works for both, so why not make it? It's really simple to do, so I definitely recommend you, may, you guys make this, all right? So in order to start out, we're going to need to make a box in the sky here. This should right above you, not too high above you. So that way we can stand right under it. And then when you do that, you're going to want to make it at least eight long in order to be able to fit three slime statues here. You can do this farm with also just one or two, just your rate of return will obviously be slower. And you're, we're going to need to hook these slime statues up to some timers, or particularly just one timer. So make sure you guys have some wiring and some wrenches in order to hook that up, and then a lever or a switch to activate the whole thing. And so we're going to go ahead and go four blocks high, just like that. And then you're going to take some spiky ball traps and set them down right at the top. You can get these from the Lazard Temple, but you're gonna need a pickaxe such as the pick saw in order to mine the Lazard bricks. So then we'll go ahead and encase it just because we can. We'll take our wiring here and wire all the spiky ball traps up with all of the slime staff, or not slime staff, the slime statues. This box up here where it looks like it's empty it actually is connecting the statues. They have a three by two radius, so anywhere within that three by two radius will activate them. And we're going to go ahead and pull it all the way down towards me. We'll throw this timer on the ground. And I guess you really don't need a switch to activate it. You really can just hit the timer and it'll do the same thing. And we'll encase ourselves here so I can show you guys. Put some torches up. Turn on your timer. And then you sit here and you wait. And just like that, you have a gel farm. And it really is that simple. As you can see, it's pretty quick. And we can also throw down this banner in order to make things go a little bit faster. We'll throw down a chest for storage so we can store our extra gel. And obviously it's going to be pretty loud so I'm not going to turn it on while I talk. I just want to let you guys know that you'll get gel from every single time you kill one of these slimes. And then the slime staff is actually going to be a 1 in 10,000 drop chance. So depending on what mode you're playing on, the slimes will obviously have more HP. But as long as you have these spiky ball traps running, and even if you have a minion like I do here with the Stardust Dragon or some Ravens, you'll be killing these guys extremely quickly. So I'm going to let this run just for a few minutes, and that way you guys can see kind of like what you can expect to get for your drop rates. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and let the farm run for only 5 minutes, and in that time I got nearly 3,000 gel. Unfortunately, I did not get a slime staff, but that's only from five minutes of running. I'm sure if you ran this thing for an hour, you would, without a doubt, get a slime staff. I can, like, almost guarantee that. But if you want to try it, try it yourself, go ahead. You can even turn this thing on overnight and get an absolute massive stack of gel and probably get a few slime staffs also to add to your collection. It's really simple, really easy to make. Definitely recommend you guys make this one. And it's also cool. It just add something to your world, something to do. <sighs> And so yeah, that's going to be for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content, as there's definitely more Terraria videos coming, and I have some coming in the future that I know you guys are really going to enjoy. So definitely stay tuned for that, all right? See you guys in the next one.